Welcome to my Tarot Corner, and I hope you ha you're having a good day. Um, if you do remember, I spoke about your Machetti's uh, deck and how great and wonderful they are. So today I am going to use another one of his decks. It's called the Legacy deck. It's very beautiful. And I'm going to check uh, two things uh, that are connected. Uh, first, uh, are the uh, uh, Sussexes going to uh, arrive to the UK for Christmas? And the second one is whether or not uh, Prince William is uh, the one that is um, um, responsible for the fact that uh, there, uh, there is no christening for Lilibeth uh, in the UK. So whether or not he's the one that put his uh, foot down and said no. So first I'm going to take an energy uh, um, card and see what is the energy around this. So what is the energy around the Sussexes coming to the UK? What is the energy around the Sussexes coming to the UK? What is the energy around the Sussexes coming to the UK? Okay, let's see what we get. And I'm going to cut. Okay, door to romance. So this is all about their relationship. Uh, whether or not the relationship is good, whether there is still love there, uh, whether they get a message of love. And if they do, they might uh, decide to come. So let's see what the tarot says. And I'll start with the uh, legacy cards and see what I get. So first I'm going to clear the cards. And I'm going to ask, are Harry and Meghan coming to the UK for Christmas? Are Harry and Meghan coming to the UK for Christmas? Are Harry and Meghan coming to the UK for Christmas? Let's cut the cards. So we'll start. First card is the Significator, and it's the King of Coins. Okay, so the King of Coins is uh, the manager, uh, is someone who is the um, his archetype is uh, someone who is very much uh, into business. So it this is a business decision for them. If if it's uh, something that will be uh, um business line, business good for them they will they will do that uh, and if not then not uh, what the king of uh, of uh, pentacle represents he's like the general manager uh, he is more into his career into independence into money and this is what is um, his whole being is around so for them coming to the uk yes or not it is all a matter of um, money okay let's see what is the what led to it and we get the ten of cups ten of cups is uh, the um, energy of fulfilling your uh, wishes and having being like completely happy having have everything that you ever wanted uh, this is uh, this is how they want to be uh, uh, to be looked at as if their all wishes have, uh, have came true they are a happy family uh, with the dogs 
uh, and the cat, uh, and maybe they don't have a cat, but they do have a dog. And we have an energy of uh, Pisces here and um, Venus. Um, and um, this is so this is what led leads for it. It uh, leads to this. So they want to be perceived as the happy family and coming to the UK to Christmas to be with the, 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 the entire family. This will uh, enforce their uh, uh, their notion of being a happy family and successful and this is what is the energy that is leading to their coming yes or no what is crowning it and crowning it is the eight of cups okay so we know that they left eight of cups is the energy of letting go uh, whatever will be will be and this is what this is how they left they left uh, and to let uh, the future uh, decide for them whatever will be will be it's like the song and uh, um, uh, and this is a uh, this is most uh, more uh, more or less the uh, crowning energy the base energy is death death is the, when the, the death card comes out, it's, it says that it's time to start living. It is a card of major change. And the, uh, we know that they already had gone a major change. But in order for them to be able to arrive to, for Christmas, they need to get invited. And for that, something has to change. Something has to change for in the in the royal family uh, especially William and I will check William's energy late uh, in the next reading but something has to change in order for them to be able to arrive and it's not at all uh, sure that it will uh, change uh, but um, if they don't uh, if they don't, uh, if the, the the if they don't get this invitation from the from the queen, if the royal family does not ask them to come, then they won't be able to come. So, what is the outcome of this? And the outcome is lovers. Okay, so lovers, as um, in opposing to what many people think, lovers doesn't always mean being in love. Lovers is a card that speaks about overload, overload of things that are blocking your path. So if your path is uh, blocked, you cannot do um, be total in what you're doing. And uh, in order for, for, uh, for being able to be total in everything, including uh, love you need to uh, to clear your path you need to clear the life pathway and take out whatever is redundant and then you can you you are able to go all the way and to uh, actually do whatever it is that you want to do so So this is not a clear answer whether or not they will uh, arrive. So I will take a few more cards and see what we get. Let's see what we get. Will they be able to arrive? Maybe right now the, 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 the decision hasn't been taken yet. Maybe the royal family hasn't made the decision whether or not they want them there. But let's see what we get. So, will they arrive to the UK for Christmas? Will they arrive for, the, for Christmas to the UK? And I'm going to cut them once more. Just once this time and take out three cards. 
on top of these and let's see what we get so our answer card is five of coins five of coins is a no they will not arrive for Christmas. Five of coins is destruction because of their own actions. It's someone who has reached this state because of what he has been doing, because, what he, because of what he has done in the past. And uh, that is the result of, uh, of, his, of their own action. They will not arrive, no, no matter what wonderful cards we get on the sides, but we see what we get here. So here we have the, the Seven of Cups. This is the card of dreams, okay? A dream that needs to come true, need, that they want it to come true. This is their dream. They want to uh, be able to come, uh, but it is only a dream, and it will stay in the dream uh, state. And on this side, we get the strength card. So they will have to be very strong in order to be able to, uh, to get that, um, to find a way of uh, explaining to the world why they are not invited to Christmas. They will find a way to spin this. Uh, strength card, is always um, meaning that they need to find the strength inside of them. And this is what this card means. They will need to find the strength inside of them in order to be able to deal with that. Because they will not be invited. I don't believe they will be invited. And uh, they might find a way to spin it as if they decided not to arrive like they did in the past two years and I'm not sure they were invited in the past two years as well okay uh, the second question is regarding whether or not a uh, Lilibeth christening was stopped or was vetoed by Prince William and I will do first the reading then i will take an energy card for this one this as well but first i need to shuffle this deck and see what i get um before i start asking questions So we'll clear the cards. So is William the one that is responsible for uh, Lilibeth uh, not being christened in the UK? Is William the one who said no about Lilibeth christening in the UK? Is William the one who said no about uh, Elizabeth being christened in the UK? So we'll cut the cards and we'll do a five card spread this time and get I, because I want to get the story. When I do a five card spread, I usually get this, get a story. So our first card is temperance, and temperance means hope, okay, and uh, faith. So they had this hope and belief, be, uh, belief that they will be able to uh, make it happen. This card is also about miracles, and maybe they thought that they could, uh, in one, one way or the other, influence uh, the, the queen uh, to be able to uh, do the christening uh, in the UK. And maybe they thought that uh, Harry thought that his influence is greater than, um, than um, William's. Uh, second card. Second card is the Ten of Pentacles, the happy family. So this is how they want it all to be. Uh, 
they wanted it all to be um, um, seemed as if they are coming back to the family and being all together. Um, of course, money is involved here as well, but it is not only about money. It is about happiness, about comfort, um, continuity with the children. So there is no doubt that that's how they wanted this to, uh, to appear. And let's see what is the next card that we get. And the next card is, once again, Five of Pentacles. A, a failure, destruction, because of the way they acted all, uh, all along. And that's why William said no. William said no because uh, he cannot forget the way they've been uh, acting. Uh, for him, it's not enough for, uh, that they will say uh, sorry. Uh, they will have to be able to, to be uh, able to show uh, a complete uh, different uh, approach. They may, might even need to apologize in order to be uh, able to. Uh, get into the uh, to the family once again but the five of pentacles once again as i got with the uh, the uh, whether uh, whether or not they're coming to christmas it's again a no card they will not be arriving to uh, they will not be able to christen lilibeth in the uk and the, the my fourth card is the magician the Magician is a spiritual card that says everything can happen. And this is how they, uh, uh, they feel. They feel that they can maybe manifest, they maybe can, uh, be, can, can uh, uh, create uh, from nothing. Maybe they will be able to uh, um, um, create this um, uh, ability to uh, make the uh, the queen and the royal family uh, um, uh, uh, more tolerant towards them. Uh, with the five of pentacles near it, it is badly aspect, and aspecting is very very important. The ten of pentacles is also badly aspect aspected so aspecting is very important in in this uh, in this uh, uh, re, uh, in, in tarot and the whole meaning of the card can change so uh, when the, when the um, when the magician is badly aspected we're talking about, we're talking about lack of communication there is no communication between them and the uh, royal family. We're talking about manipulation, and we know that they are manipulative, and they are they keep on trying to manipulate everything and everyone around them in order to uh, get what they want. We're talking about uh, uh, confusion. They're trying to uh, um, to throw around confusion all around them and confuse everybody with everything that they do. They say that they want to, uh, that they're going to take a, a leave of absence because they got a baby, but then they're going to New York this week. Uh, they're already in New York, I saw. So, and uh, they're, uh, they haven't been out of the public eye for a minute ever since they left the royal family. And the Ten of Pentacles is also badly aspected with the Five of Pentacles near it. And that means over materialism, uh, loss, greed. Uh, they won't be able to, uh, to manifest and to be able, you know, they won't be able to be this happy family that they want so much uh, to show. And the last card in this thread is the Three of uh, Pentacles. See, we have here three cards of Pentacles out of five. That's, uh, that's telling that they are very, very much around the money all the time. The Three of Pentacles is about recognition and being rewarded for uh, the things that you do. 
but also because this whole um, this whole reading is badly manis- manifested uh, we are talking here about the need for being rewarded the need to be recognized but not actually being recognized and we know this is this is something that they have been doing all along and the underlying um, card is the ace of cups a lot of emotions a lot of emotions are uh, coming here to uh, are manifested here uh, William uh, is not taking this uh, he has not been taking this uh, decision lightly. He had a lot of uh, emotions, and uh, he, this is the way he manifested his emotions, uh, and this is the way he made. This is his way of uh, showing uh, Harry that uh, he is not forgiving. He, he does not forgive him for what he has been done, he's been doing. Not only the way they acted, uh, but also I think that uh, the way that he is being manipulating his their mother is also something that um, I believe that um, uh, William is uh, unable to forgive. And I will take an energy card for this as well and see what kind of energy we have around William's refusal to let them do the christening in the UK. So, what, what is the energy around William's, William's refusal to let Harry christen his daughter in the UK? What is the energy around William's refusal to let Harry christen his daughter in the UK? Let's see what we get. Hostilities. So, there is hostilities between Harry and uh, and William. It is not over yet. Uh, William hasn't forgiven uh, Harry, and he will not forgive him in the in the near future, as it looks. So I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like and subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.